Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm David Knight. It's Monday, June 17th, 2013, and here are our top stories. Tonight, Edward Snowden Q&A. NSA whistleblower answers your questions. Then, these guys want to hack your home, and you should let them. And government agencies are exploiting buggy software to spy on you. That's up next on the InfoWars Nightly News. Now we are all persons of interest. That's a quote from Thomas Drake. And if you've been watching the metastasizing surveillance state for a while, you'll recognize the names Thomas Drake, William Benny, and J. Kirk Wiebe. Now the three of them were whistleblowers from right after September 11th. They realized that national security was going in the wrong direction, a direction opposed to the Constitution. All three of them became whistleblowers. Thomas Drake was a former NSA technical director. William Benny was a former NSA technical director as well. And J. Kirk Wiebe was a former NSA senior analyst. Now, USA Today had a roundtable with the three of them talking about the NSA as well as Edward Snowden, whistleblower. And here's what Thomas Drake had to say. There is a bottom line, though. The government unchained itself from the Constitution as a result of 9-11. Yep. And in the, in the absolute darkest of secrecy, at the highest levels of the government, approved by the White House. NSA became the executive agent for a surveillance program, extraordinarily uh, broad um, a surveillance program that turned the United States of America effectively into the equivalent of foreign nation for dragnet electronic surveillance. It's a very, very powerful quote. And I want to read that to you again and, and emphasize this. Now, this is a man who was being prosecuted by the government, and he could have gotten life in prison if they had been successful. And all he was doing was pointing out criminal activity, unconstitutional activity on the part of the government. And here's what he said. The government unchained itself from the Constitution as a result of 9-11. Unchained itself from the Constitution. In the darkest of secrecy, at the highest levels of government, approved by the White House, NSA became the executive agent for an extraordinarily broad surveillance program that effectively turned the United States into the equivalent of a foreign nation for dragnet electronic surveillance. Do you see how the American empire is turning in on itself? We've had nothing but constant war for 60 years. And as Ron Paul pointed out, when we treat other people in other countries with absolutely no respect for life or their property or their liberty, eventually that is going to come back to haunt us. What we're doing is we're training an entire section of our civilization, the government sector, to treat people as non-humans. And eventually they're going to come back to the United States. And as Thomas Drake said, that time is now. Now we are all persons of interest. It's always been that way. That's why we talk about democide. That's why we did the video about democide here at InfoWars. Because governments have always, always treated their citizens much more harshly than they have citizens of other countries. They have always killed more of their citizens than they have citizens of other countries. And all the wars combined, more people have died of democide. And that's what we have to look forward to if we do not stop and reverse course from this criminal government. Now, in this roundtable, they had some interesting quotes here as a back and forth between the three whistleblowers and the people at USA Today. And here's some of the transcript. For years, the three whistleblowers had told anyone who would listen to them that the NSA collects huge swaths of communication data from U.S. citizens. They had spent decades in the top ranks of the agency designing, managing the very data collection systems that they say have now been turned against Americans. Now, this is William Binney. He said, we tried to stay for the better part of seven years inside of the government, trying to get the government to recognize the unconstitutional, illegal activity that they were doing and openly admit that and devise certain ways that would be constitutionally and legally acceptable to achieve the ends that they were really after. And that just failed totally because no one in the Congress or we couldn't get anybody in the courts and certainly the Department of Justice and Inspector General's office didn't pay any attention to it. And all of the efforts we made just produced no change whatsoever. All it did was to continue to get worse and expand. And we be joined and said, yes, we failed. Now, that sounds very much like what we've seen happening with the IRS, doesn't it? 
rather than investigate wrongdoing, rather than do anything, they circle the wagons or they go after the people who reported the wrongdoing as opposed to making any corrections. And Jocelyn Raddick, who was their lawyer, she was a lawyer for all three of them, and she herself was a whistleblower, not for the NSA, but I believe for the Department of Justice. She said, not only did they go through multiple and all the proper internal channels and they failed, but more than that, it was turned against them. The Inspector General was the one who gave their names to the Justice Department for criminal prosecu prosecution under the Espionage Act. They were all targets of a federal criminal investigation, and Tom ended up being prosecuted, and it was all for blowing the whistle. And he, they were trying to put him away for life for doing that. Now, Weeby also made an interesting point. He pointed out that what they were doing made absolutely no sense from a mission standpoint. In other words, if their mission was one of security, what they were doing was not oriented towards doing the best job about that. What they were doing was the maximizing the transfer of money to certain companies in the military industrial complex. It was not efficient. But we see that with the TSA as well, don't we? We see the TSA is not effective as a security agency. What the TSA does is a PSYOP operation, training people to give up their freedom and their personal dignity. And that's exactly what was going on at the NSA, although they were interested there in feathering the nests of the people who were well connected within the military industrial complex. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15 day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.